Okay, so at this point, we've got our data set, and what we might want to do is create a new variable. So, what you can do is, if you're going to create a new variable that's a mathematical function of previous variables, then you're going to go to transform compute variable. So for example, in this case, we might be interested in how long the album's songs are on average. So we, for example, this first album, five songs for 44 minutes. So what's the average length of songs on that album? So we could create a variable here, a new one, called average song length. To do that, you click on transform compute. And you enter in the name of the new variable, so it could be something like average song length. And then here's where you're going to build your formula. So to get that, you would just take the length of the album and divide it by the number of songs. Click OK. Now what you see here is the output window, so anything you do is going to get dumped into this, uh, this they call it the viewer, but essentially it's where all your output would go. Now there's no output here because we didn't actually run any analyses, we just created a new variable, and this is the code that's running in the background. So I'm going to minimize that um, for now, and you can see now we do have this new variable here, average song length. And you could check, and it's uh, just a mathematical kind of computation of the length of the album divided by the number of songs. So I'm going to just shrink that down a little bit. Okay, so that's how you create a new variable based on some combination of existing variables. Okay, so let's say that we want to find out information about the average um, number of songs across this whole data set, average album length across this whole data set, and average rating, things like that. Um, to get descriptive statistics like mean and standard deviation, you click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then you can go to either frequencies or descriptives. I actually find that it's a little bit easier to get what you need in frequencies, but there's a lot of overlap between these two things. So I'm going to click on Frequencies. So here's where you're going to select the variables for which you want information. With nominal variables, it's not going to be all that interesting to ask about the mean, and, and certainly not even meaningful, to ask about the mean artist's name. It doesn't make any sense. But we could ask about how many, how many songs, album length, rating, um, and average song length. So those are the ones that we can really play around with statistically. And by default, it's going to um, give you frequency distributions of those variables, but you can uncheck that if you like. Click on statistics, and then just choose whatever statistics you're interested in. Mean, median, standard deviation, continue, and then OK, and then we're going to see, once again, the output viewer, and this is just going to add on to whatever is here before. So you can see these first two lines are what we did when we created that new variable. These next three lines are when we asked it to do all these um, descriptive statistics. So you can see for these four variables that we asked for, you have mean, median, standard deviation. It also tells you how many cases there were and if there was any missing data. Go away. Okay. Um, so, and then that's followed up by a uh, frequency table. So, this just says that there were two albums that had five songs, one album that had six songs, one album that had 14 songs, and so forth.